Hi, it's anatomy lesson time. Today's topic is skin cancer. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment if you have ideas for lessons I should cover next. Okay, so let's get started on today's. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer. It's about 40% of all cancers. What is cancer? Well, remember, cancer is uncontrolled cell growth. It's caused by damage to DNA. So if we want to minimize the risk of cancer, we want to minimize the risk of damaging DNA. So there are two types of tumors. There are benign tumors and there are malignant tumors. Benign tumors are typically small, slow-growing. They're non-invasive, meaning they're just contained um, in one location, and they aren't spreading. When you have a malignant tumor, it means it's larger. It's typically faster growing. It can be invasive, meaning it might be infringing on another tissue or organ, and they often metastasize, which means they're spreading. So a hint to remember, benign, be fine. They're slow growing and contained. And malignant are fast growing, invasive, and can metastasize. So if you have results and it shows malignant, that shows a greater risk. Okay, what are the main causes of skin cancer? Well, UV radiation. There are three types of UV rays. Okay, there's UVC, which we don't really have anything to worry about because our ozone layer luckily is blocking those. But then we have UVB rays, and I remember it because it ends in B, and B is burn. So UVB rays are the burning rays. They can promote cancer and also aging. And then we have the UVA rays, and those are the tanning rays. But what they also do is can promote wrinkling and aging of the skin. So it can give skin, um, for someone who has had too much exposure to UVA rays, to have almost a leathery-like appearance but UVA rays can also promote cancer. What are the types of skin cancer? Well, there's basal cell carcinoma. It's the most common type, it's about 80% of cancers. It begins in the stratum basale, hence basal. It has a 99% cure rate if it's caught early. Okay, so this one is the, um, the one that is the least fatal and the least problematic as long as it's caught early. And then you can have squamous cell carcinoma. This is the second most common type of cancer. It's more common in darker skinned people, and it results in about 1,500 to 2,000 deaths every year in the United States. And then we have malignant melanoma. This is the least common, but the deadliest type. It begins in the melanocytes, hence the melanoma. It metastasizes rapidly. And remember the metastasizing, that is the, um, the more serious type of cancer. There are some rules to look at if you're determining whether or not a mole or some discoloration on your skin is worth seeing the doctor about. The A is for asymmetry. Is it the same on both sides? B, for the border. Look at the border. Is it smooth? Is it irregular around? C, for color, specifically if the color has changed. And D, diameter, if it's greater than a quarter inch. Well, I don't usually remember what a quarter inch is, so that means a pencil eraser. If it's bigger than a pencil eraser, it might be something to get checked out. So, again, A for asymmetry, B for the borders irregular, C for the color, specifically that it's changed, and D for the diameter, that it's larger than a pencil eraser. So anything that falls into one of those categories, you're going to want to see your doctor and probably a dermatologist. And there you have it. There's the information I wanted to share with you about skin cancer. That wasn't too much today. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment with content ideas. I'll see you next time.